Lumex Sit to Stand Lift Review. Sit to Stand Lifts LF2020, LF2090, and LF1600. Sit to Stand Lifts are extremely helpful for the caregiver for pivot transfers. They are designed to provide quick, safe assistance to those who have trouble standing. They are also ideal in helping to remove clothing or in dressing the resident. They are used when the resident can support approximately 60 to 70% of their weight and they can control their upper body. Lifts enable the caregiver to safely move or transfer the resident with confidence. This video will review the LF2020 and the LF2090 sit to stand battery powered lifts. A lift should always be used with two caregivers and only used for transferring a resident from one object to another. It should not be used for transporting or moving a resident from one location to another. Do not attempt any transfer without prior approval of the resident's healthcare provider. The lift is constructed of heavy gauge steel. Let's review the parts of your lift. Base, mast, lifting boom or suspension arm, padded knee pad, non-slip footrest or platform, push bar, actuator control box, hand pendant and charger. Charging the LF2020 and LF2090. The control box holds two 12 volt batteries and a PC board. Your new lift should be charged before using. The LF2020 and LF2090 should initially be charged for 10 to 12 hours. There are five openings on the control box. The actuator motor plugs in the third opening. The hand pendant plugs into the second opening. The charger plugs into the top opening. The lower two openings are not used. By pressing the battery testing button on the control box, the remaining charge will be shown. When the red light glows, you must recharge the battery. You will also get an audible low voltage warning beep for a low battery charge. Recharging takes three to four hours from one green light. It takes approximately seven to nine hours to fully charge from the red light. Allowing the battery to run down to less than one green light can shorten the life of the battery or damage the battery. Insert the charging plug into charging port on the control box. All lights on the battery indicator should be on while charging. The red charge light will go out when the battery is fully charged. Do not charge the battery for more than 12 hours. Remember that your red reset button must be in the up position for charging. Unplug the charger before operating the lift. The LF2020 and LF2090 will not operate while charging. When the battery is fully charged, the red button should be placed in the down position when not in use to prevent the battery from draining. Many customers like to buy an extra control box and batteries to have a fully charged unit on hand. The weight capacity of the LF2020 lift is 400 pounds. The weight capacity of the LF2090 is 600 pounds. This is clearly marked on the boom. Never exceed this weight capacity for your safety and for that of your resident. The lift is equipped with a safety chip that will sound if you try to lift too much weight for the motor. The lift will emit four quick beeps and then stop if you try to exceed the weight limit. The LF2020 and LF2090 utilize a simple foot pedal lever to open and close the base legs. The base legs are very low to the ground on these Lumex lifts to accommodate low beds. The leg clearance is 4.7 inches. The knee pad height is easily adjustable. The resident's knees should align just over the top of the knee pad and touching the knee pad. Choose an appropriate sling to use with your sit to stand lift, such as deluxe sit to stand padded sling, sit to stand buttock strap, or toileting sling. Lumex LF 2020-2090. Your sit to stand lift should be used with the deluxe sit to stand padded sling. The sling should also have reinforced grab straps to assist in guiding the resident during the transfer. Color coded loops simplify the process. The same color loop should be used on each side of the sling. Never put anything such as a cushion or pad between the resident and the sling. This may cause injury. A resident must have control of their upper body and be able to support approximately 60 to 70% of their body weight to use a sit to stand lift. How to make a transfer from a seated position. From bed to wheelchair with a deluxe sit to stand padded sling. Position the sling behind the back with the two red pads under the arms and the single red lumbar pad against the small of the back. Make sure the adjustment straps are on the outside. Cross the padded sling below the chest and secure the buckle adjusting for comfort as required.
Place the two loops through the black strap in the form of an H in front of the resident. Push the lift towards the resident. Open the base of the lift. The sit to stand lift can be used with the casters either locked or unlocked. Position the resident's feet on the foot platform and knees against the knee pad. Attach the sling straps to the hooks on the lift. For a taller resident, use the hook closest to the outer edge for the grab bar. Residents should hold the handrails and lean back slightly. For residents who cannot hold the handles, have him or her hold their arms across their chest. Press the up button until the resident's body has completely left the bed. The resident's knees may move away from the knee pad when they are upright. Close the base. When transferring to or from a wheelchair, be sure that the wheels of the wheelchair are locked in place. Using a padded sling with an additional buttock strap. Some residents feel more secure with the use of a buttock strap. Slide the strap under legs midway under thighs. Attach the deluxe sit to stand padded sling to the outside hooks and buttock strap to the inside or front hooks on lift. using a toileting sling to transfer from a bed. The toileting sling provides additional security and is ideal for use with a sit-to-stand lift. Position the sling behind the back with the two red pads under the arms and single red lumbar pad against the small of the back. Make sure the adjustment strap is on the outside. Cross the chest belt over the chest and secure using the buckle, adjusting for comfort as required. Position the leg loops under and between the resident's legs. Cross leg loops through each other. Move the lift slowly towards the resident. Place feet on foot platform. Attach leg straps to front hooks followed by upper straps to side hooks. Ensure that leg sections are positioned midway under the thighs to provide good support and greater comfort. Lumex LF1600, how to make a transfer from a seated position. This is a manual sit to stand lift. Position the lift in front of the resident. Lock casters. Have the resident step on the lift and pull themselves up to a standing position. Unfold the seat cushions. Have residents sit and hold handrail during transfer. Lock casters and reverse procedure when transfer is complete. Gram-filled Lumex lifts are designed for convenience and safety in resident transfers and to protect the caregiver from injury. They are very easy to maneuver. As with any new piece of equipment, always practice using the lift before using it with residents. Practice transfers from bed to chair, chair to bed. Familiarize yourself with the product features. This is key to smooth operation. 
Bend your knees, use your leg muscles, and align your body with feet apart so that your center of gravity is stabilized. Do not twist your spine. Know your resident's ability. A resident must have control of their upper body and be able to support 60% of their body weight to use a sit-to-stand lift. 